The Indian Army held exercise Tar Shakti in Rajasthan, showcasing integrated desert warfare with tanks, drones and robotic systems. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh witnessed the drill, highlighting India's readiness and tech-driven combat capability. India has issued a no-time warning for a tri-services exercise along its western border with Pakistan, for the period between 30th October to 10th of November 2025. After India's no-time warning, Pakistan has now issued a notification restricting multiple air traffic routes along its central and southern airspace for a military exercise for 28th to 29th of October 2025. With 120 units already under delivery, the Indian Air Force is now planning to expand its Prale missile arsenal to strengthen deep strike capabilities against Pakistan. Indian Air Force chief has confirmed interest in an additional 200 missiles once the current order is fulfilled by mid-2026. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited successfully carried out the maiden flight of the first series production HTT-40 basic trainer aircraft from its Bangalore facility. Tamil Nadu-based startup Inlight Helicopters Private Limited is preparing to demonstrate its 70 kg payload capacity unmanned cargo helicopter to the Indian Army. It has a range of 500 km at speeds of 200 km per hour, and it is nearing certification for mid-2026 deployment. Goa Shipyard Limited has launched the last two Adamia-class fast patrol vessel for the Indian Coast Guard. China has constructed a new military shelter roughly 110 km from Pangong Tso's Finger 4 area, reportedly designed to house an HQ-9 air defense battery. GTRE's indigenous 4.5 kN manic turbofan engine of nearby cruise missile has entered its final phase before mass production, with both public and private sector firms set to play major roles in its large-scale manufacturing. French firm Safran has sent a proposal to Hindustan Aeronautics and Ministry of Defence, offering its 90 kN M88 T-Rex engine as a backup for the Tejas Mark II, in case the General Electric F-414 technology transfer deal faces delays. The proposal comes amidst all F-414 negotiations due to US export restrictions and offset issues. Safran has said that the M88 T-Rex is lighter than the F-414, offering near equal performance with 7% lower fuel use and longer service life. The DRDO and Tato Advanced Systems have jointly unveiled its wheeled infantry combat vehicle, which is an advanced 8x8 armored platform representing the third generation evolution of the wheeled armored platform family, and the rollout is expected in 2026. The 24-ton vehicle is armed with Nag Mark II anti-tank guided missile, 30mm remotely operated crewless turret co-developed with Bharat Forge and Tato Advanced Systems. It can achieve speeds up to 105 km per hour on roads, and offers superior cross-country performance, and gradient climbing capability beyond 60%. Built on a modular architecture, it will support multiple mission configurations including troop transport, command post, and fire support variants. India is set to begin construction of its S-5 class next-generation nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines in late 2027, and the program will be directly overseen by the Prime Minister's office. Four submarines are planned, that will be built in two phases of two SSPNs each with the lead vessel's metal cutting in 2027, and the second submarine in 2028. The first S-5 SSBN equipped with 16 K-5 and K-6 SLBMs is projected to achieve full operational status by 2036. Today's Top 3 Comments